Kasab, Kasabi. A long time ago, there was a Nuh Nuh skeleton, a people-eating monster. It was a huge mountain that swallowed up the animal people. One day as the monster stirred, it began to take a huge breath in, and it swallowed all the tenuous that were there. I told my metal orc was able to escape and wondered what to do. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I should say. Well, find Sinclair and ask him to help this problem. I used to call I went to find Sinclair. Sinclair, Sinclair, like a key. Sinclair, where are you? Don't ask me if I should call I should call out Metal Ark explained to Sinclair how the earth monster was swallowing up all the Tumuf and the Tumhula. Sinclair first had to make a bunch of neat grin knives. Quark, 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 quark. Five Then Sinclair went to find some speech and hemp to make some rope. Sinclair braided and braided and braided. Finally, Sinclair had enough. Then Sinclair went to a giant pine tree and scraped and molded a big ball of pitch and put it in his bag. I took a little leg Sinclair to where the earth monster was. Earth monster was sleeping at the bottom of the mountain. Sinclair took his feet and rope and walked around the top of the mountain, creating a loop. Sinclair then tied a big knot. Sinclair then tied the rope around his waist. Aitrakola looked at Sinclair like he was crazy. Sinclair then grabbed a few rocks and threw them at the earth monster, hitting him on the head. Sinclair was laughing and laughing. Earth Monster didn't see anybody, so he went back to sleep. This time, Sinclair rolled a huge boulder down the mountain. It rolled and bounced and hit Earth Monster right in the back. Earth Monster jumped up and looked around. He could see Sinclair up on the hill laughing at him. He stood up and took a deep breath in. Trees and boulders started flying into his mouth. Sinclair flew into the air but was tied to the mountain. Sinclair laughed and laughed. This made the earth monster even more angry. He stood up taller and drew in an even bigger breath. Again, Sinclair was flying through the air. This time, Sinclair took out a knife and cut the rope and went flying into the earth monster's stomach. It was really dark inside the stomach. Sinclair took out his ball of pitch and lit it on fire. He could then see all the Timuth that were inside the earth monster's stomach. There were a few that were still alive and a few that were just a pile of bones. We can have Gee, you're also helpful. I'm going to help you. Sinclair looked around and located the earth monster's boots, its heart. Sinclair walked over to where the heart was, but Hagula, rattlesnake, would not move and tried to bite Sinclair. Tactile. Tactile. Sahil, gee, you're having my way. I don't have time for this nonsense. Move. Again, Hahulalau tried to bite Sinclair. This time, Sinclair used his cheek skin and hit Hahulalau right on the top of the head and then stepped on Rattlesnake's head and squished it flat. That will teach you to mess with me. From that time on, all the Hahulalau had flat heads as a reminder to not mess with Sinclair. Sinclair took the first Nikaman and started cutting at the stomach of, of the earth monster. Ow! Getting violent. My stomach hurts. It must have been something rotten. Sinclair kept cutting, but the earth monster's body was difficult to cut through and broke the Neekman. Sinclair went to his bag and grabbed another Neekman and started cutting again, this time exposing the earth monster's spouse, its heart. It was covered in a thick layer of hard and fat and grizzle. Sinclair took some of his pitch and made an extra hot fire below the heart to melt some of the hard and fat away. I have heartburn. I must have ate something spicy. After a, after a while, the fat started to soften, and Sinclair took another Neekman and went to start cutting away at the earth monster's heart. However, Kilana, a grizzly bear, was standing where Sinclair wanted to go and snapped his jaws and wouldn't move. Kilana, I'm good. I don't have.
harmless nonsense. Move! Kilana snapped his jaws at Sinclair. Sinclair grabbed his kick stand and hit Kilana right square in the spot socks, right square in the nose. That was a mess with me. From that time on, from that time on, all the Kilana had flat noses as a reminder to not mess with Sinclair. Sinclair took another knee and started cutting away at the Earth Monster's heart. Ow, that hurts a lot more. That must be Sinclair doing this to me. Earth Monster pleaded and begged for Sinclair to stop. Please, Sinclair, please, Sinclair. Come on, my mouth and make you talk yourself. I am not coming out of your mouth. I'll get covered in your spit and slobber. Gross. Sinclair kept cutting and cutting. Earth Monster pleaded again. Please, Sinclair, please, Sinclair. Come out of my nose and we can talk this out. I am not coming out of your nose. I'll get covered in your snot and boogers. Gross. Sinclair broke another knee and had to grab another and kept cutting through the heart. Please, Sinclair, please, Sinclair, come out of my ears and you can talk this out. Nuts coming out of your ears, I already get covered in your earwax. Gross. Please, Sinclair, please, Sinclair, come out of my back and then we can talk this out. Ew! Not even! Gross! Sinclair turned. Sinclair kept cutting, breaking another Neekman, now down to the last Neekman. Sinclair turned around, spoke to all the Timothy, and said the Earth Monster's stomach. When I make this final cut, the heart will fall, and the Earth Monster will open up for us to escape. Take the bones of our friends, and get out of the mouth, nose, ears, etc. Not be waiting around, and we'll get stuck at Earth Monster forever. Most of the team is nodding already. They picked up the bones of their fallen ones and waited for Sinclair to holler. That is most of the team who are listening. Mahoya and Sydney Oak, Raccoon and Muskrat were too busy chatting and not listening. Did you hear that, Mahoya and Sydney Oak? He, he, you mean Steve, you can't class. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm fast. He, you can chug, you can class. Yeah, me too, I'm fast. Sinclair just shook his head and made the last cut. The Earth Monster's heart dropped. Up and down, who are we? Go, go! The Earth Monster grabbed his chest and took his last breath, and all his openings opened. Many of the Timaeus escaped out of the mouth and nose, a few of the ears. However, there were a few Timaeus that did not listen to Sinclair and took their time. The mouth started to close, then the nose, then the ears. The last to close was the back end. Mahoya and Sinu rushed to the back end as the Earth Monster released his last breath and died. There was Mahoya and Sinu stuck in the back end. Mahoya squeezed through and had to pull his tail out of the back end bit by bit. He worked so hard to get out, he had sweat in his eyes and wiped his eyes with his hands. Now realized what he had all over his hands. Yes, he was covered in the Earth Monster's poop. From that day on, you only see Mahoya come out at night because he was so embarrassed at what happened to him and how he got its dark markings on his face and tail and why he's always washing his hands trying to get his hands clean. But wait, poor Sinu was still stuck in the back end. His beautiful bushy tail was still stuck. He called out for help. Cookie Nate! Cookie Nate! Help me! Help me! Sinclair heard the calls for help and went to investigate. He walked around the earth monster to find Sinu stuck. Now, why don't you, Sinclair? Sinclair grabbed Sinclair by the arms and pulled and pulled. Finally, Sinclair was free. But as Sinclair looked behind him, his beautiful bushy tail was just skin. <laughs> Look at the tail. Now I'm doing all the Sinclair for long, skinny tails. And that is one of our chip chip teeks where Sinclair takes care of another knock knock skeleton. People eating monster. Why eat he?